Welcome back to the Detroit Tigers franchise here on MLB The Show. I'm your host, longtime listener. Drop a like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, before we get started, wanted to just point out that we did offer a contract extension to Matthew Boyd, pretty much the only guy that we're going to do this during the season. Uh, he's 29 years old, and he's pitching pretty well for us this year, so we think we can get at least another solid three years out of him. So we're going to offer him a three-year, $15 million contract. He was looking for about $5 million a year, a year. So this is right in the wheelhouse of what he's looking for anyway. He's going to be probably a number two or three guy in the rotation for us for the next few years, maybe even the uh, number one starter. So we get that done, uh, and now we're going to jump into some action. We go out to Globe Life Field in uh, Texas to take on the Rangers. They are having a rough year at sitting at 45-71, and 71, while the Tigers actually – have been on a little bit of a roll lately, kind of keeping themselves in the, the American League playoff discussion. Uh, so we'll see how things go in this one. On the hill for the Rangers is Kyle Gibson. You see the numbers there. 3-3 three and three on the year and 12 starts. Uh, so would assume that there's been some injury trouble for him. Um, and he's going to get the go for the Rangers as we uh, start things off with Cameron Maven. He takes the ball immediately into right center field for a, one out, or for a leadoff single. And the Tigers have their first hit of the game already. Next batter, Harold Castro. Runner in motion. He gets jammed but hits a ground ball to first. He's able to step on the bag, but Maven over to second without a play. So a runner in scoring position for Miguel Cabrera. They just pitch around him as he's pretty much the best hitter on this uh, team. Well, not pretty much, definitely at this moment. Next batter, though, is David Bodie. He walks him as well. And now the bases are loaded. Second walk of the inning for Gibson. So trouble uh, brewing as now it's... Uh, Lawrence Walker hits a ball deep to center field. It's going to stay in the park, but Maven will tag and score. And just like that, it is 1-0 Detroit. Still two away now. Runners on first and second. And that would bring up Sheldon Noisy. He gets a ball to hit. Hits it deep down the right field line, but it slices foul. And then later in the bat, he's going to draw a walk. So now base is loaded again, third walk of the inning for Gibson. So command trouble for him. Look at that pitch count already, 31. He does get Austin Romine to ground out to end the inning there, but Tigers put up a run and, and really run up the pitch count early on Gibson as he is struggling with command as we head to the bottom of the first. On the hill for the Tigers is the young and impressive Jordan Belazovic. He's 11-3 on the year, solid numbers across the board. Uh, would maybe like to see the walks come down just a hair, but this guy has pitched very well from, for, the, for them this year as he looks for his 12th victory on the season. First batter, Geraldo Murillo recently called up, and he gets things started for the Rangers, taking one into the gap all the way to the wall, and he can run. He is going to hold up at second, but just like that, the Rangers looking to answer as they have a runner in scoring position with nobody away. Blazovic would come back, immediately getting a strike out there for the first out. And then it was Willie Calhoun. He hits one to first. Looks like Cabrera could have had that one, but it gets under his glove into right field. Murillo will come in to score, and we are tied at one here in Texas. Take another look here as that is going to be rolled an error on Miguel Cabrera. He would... Blazovic would then get Santana swinging for a second strikeout of the ball game. And then it's Ronald Guzman now with two down. Hits one back up the middle. Nico over to grab that one, flip to second. That ends the inning. So the runner probably would not have scored, obviously, had the um, play been made by Cabrera. But it does get registered as a earned run nonetheless. Uh, Gibson in trouble again here with command in the second as he walks the leadoff hitter. And it's Victor Reyes. He hits one back up the middle. And that's into center field. Now it's first and second. Still nobody out as the Tigers threatening here again. And it's Cameron Maven. He gets a pitch to hit. Line drive into center field. That's going to hang up and get caught. They draw the throw to third, but the runner retreats to second. Now it is going to still be first and second with one away. Two batters later, it's Miguel Cabrera. He gets a pitch to hit, takes it into left field. It's hit well. The runner makes a big turn at third, but stops, and the throw was offline. So had he continued, probably would have scored. But nonetheless, it's going to be a bases-loaded scenario with two outs here as the Tigers trying to open this thing up. And then it's David Bodie. Line drive into right. That thing hangs up. Going to be caught. Gibson escapes danger again, but he is at 52 pitches through just two innings of work 
as now it's uh, Rognet Odor starting things off with the uh, strikeout there. He's the, either a home run or strikeout kind of guy. Third K of the ball game for Velazovic. Two batters later, Anderson Tejada. He goes shopping in the gap. That ball is going to get down and go all the way to the wall. He's into second with a two-out double as the Rangers have a chance to go ahead here. Next batter, Robinson Chirinos. He goes down swinging through a slider on the outside corner. Nice pitch there for the fourth strikeout of the game for Velazovic. We go on to the third. It is still 1-1. One to one. Sheldon Nueze with one out hits this ball deep down the left field line. The only question about that one was whether it was going to stay fair, and it does. 426 feet, his seventh of the year, as he makes it 2-1 to one Tigers. That ball pushing 110 miles an hour in exit velocity. Let's get another look at this one because he hits this ball extremely hard. If you're in the bleachers out there in left field, look out as that one was coming in hot. Gibson, the reaction there, he knew it was uh, he was in trouble as soon as it came off the bat and obviously doesn't like it. A couple batters later, Gibson gets Beckham uh, looking at a sinker down and in. Nice pitch there to end the inning. But Sheldon Nueze has given the Tigers the lead as we head to the bottom of the third here in Texas. First batter is Geraldo Murillo. He takes one into right field. His second hit of the ball game is he is hitting the ball well for Texas since being called up just a few weeks ago. Next batter is Matt Duffy. Ground ball to short. It's going to be a 6-4-3 double play. Twin killing for the Tigers as they get two for the price of one. On to the bottom of the fourth. Danny Santana hits a ball up the middle. Backhanded. Couldn't hang on. It's going to be rolled an infield single. And Texas threatening now as they have the leadoff man on in the bottom of the fourth. And it's Ronald Guzman back up the middle. That's going to get through into center field. And now it's going to be first and second for the Rangers. Next batter, Rugnet Odor. He's going to hit the ball down the third base line. It's going to get past Walker, go all the way to the wall. One run is going to score. It's going to be second and third now. Still nobody out as the Texas Rangers have drawn even. Pitching coach comes out and he says, guys, I don't know what I ate last night, but I'm going to hurry up and just go ahead and get back to the dugout because I am afraid that I am going to do damage in my pants. Then it's Hunter Cole. Belazovic gets him swinging. Fifth K of the game there for Jordan Belazovic in a big first out. And next is Anderson Tejada. Hits the ball to third. No chance to score. Throw goes over to first for the second out. So now Belazovic with a chance to get out of it here. And it's Robinson Chirinos. Chases a slider off the plate. Good pitching there from Belazovic to bounce back. He settles down and gets him out of trouble. But Rugnet Odor with the RBI double to tie this thing as we head to the top of the fifth. First batter is David Bodie. He's ripping one into the gap. That's going to get down, and it would be a leadoff double for the Tigers. So Gibson's still in trouble now. He's at 80 pitches already um, with nobody out here in the fifth. Then it's Lawrence Walker. Hits one deep to left field. This ball is back. It would be caught on the run, but he was kind of carrying his momentum away from the plate. Um, so Bodie does at least tag and get over to third with one away. Shell Nueze gets a pitch to hit. He takes this one deep to right center field. It's not going to get out of here, but it is going to short hop the wall, down for a double. And uh, Bodie would come in to score, makes it 3-2 to two Tigers, and they're still not done here in the fifth. Next batter, Austin Romine, takes one into right field. Nueze held up to make sure that that got through. Uh, so he's going to go to third. Runners on the corners, one away. Two batters later, after the Rangers have turned to Colby Allard out of the bullpen, Victor Reyes takes one into center field. That's down, and it's now 4-2, to two, Tigers. Then it was Cameron Maben now with two away. Runners on first and second. Kind of gets jammed here, but serves that one into center field. Runners were on the move because it was a full count with two outs. One run would come in to score. Runners on the corners, 5-2. And they are going to pinch hit here with Jorge Bonifacio coming off the bench. Two down in an RBI situation. Allard gets him to just pop one up. That's not going to get it done. As the Tigers answer again here as they jump back out to a three-run lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth. First batter, Mario. Look at this. Back up the middle. He is going to be three for three now. The youngster getting it done with his opportunity coming up from AAA just a few weeks ago. And he's looking in the dugout like, I don't know. 
Next was Matt Duffy. Hits one hard to second. Noese grabs it, flips to short. Nico Goodrum over to first, and it's a double play for the Tigers. Big, big double play there. Killing a rally. We would go on to the sixth. Miguel Cabrera right through the wickets there. That's up the middle into center field for a leadoff single, and the Tigers are threatening again. If you look here, the hits leaders for the Tigers, Miguel Cabrera with 144, and the next closest is just 87. That's got to be the biggest gap in all of baseball, if I had to guess. Next batter is uh, David Bodie. He's going up the middle again, and it's first and second. Still nobody out. Lawrence Walker caught looking at one there. Strike three for the first out. He doesn't like the call. He has really struggled of late. Uh, just has not been able to get it going for several months now, honestly. And then uh, next batter is Nwaze. He pops up for an infield fly roll. Then it's Austin Romine. Hits this ball deep to left center field, but it is going to hang up. Um, just missed that one. That's the final out in the sixth as the Tigers still lead it 5-2. to two. Now on to the bottom of the sixth. Danny Santana leading things off. He gets a ball to hit, but... Unfortunately, he takes that right at Bonifacio out there in right field for the first out. Next batter is Ronald Guzman. He draws a walk, so the uh, Rangers have a one-out base runner. As you see there, that's the first walk for Belazovic. Five and a third, seven hits, six Ks to this point, but he's at 88 pitches, so they might not get too much longer out of him, but a nice backdoor slider on Rugnet Odor there for the second out and his seventh K of the game. Then it was Hunter Cole chasing a slider down out of the zone for the eighth strikeout as Belazovic pick, picking up uh, another strikeout there, and he is through six solid innings. It is five to 5-2 as we head to the seventh. Jesse Chavez out of the bullpen for the Rangers. You see the numbers there through 75 and two-thirds innings. ERA sitting just below three, so he's had a pretty solid year for them in relief. Starting things off with Tim Beckham. He gets a hanging slider on the first pitch and just takes it into left for a single. And just like that, Tigers have a base runner again as they look to extend the lead. And then it would be uh, Victor Reyes dropping down a bunt, but Beckham didn't apparently get a very good jump there as he is out at second. No play at first on Reyes, but he tries to bunt for a sacrifice and can't even get it done. Anyway, next batter takes one into the right center field gap. So Reyes is going to come all the way around to score and make it 6-2 to two as Cameron Mabin has an RBI double. Next batter is Jorge Bonifacio. He goes down chasing a changeup out of the zone for the second out. First strikeout for Chavez. And then Miguel Cabrera gets a pitch he likes but hits a hard grounder right at Odor at second. That would end the threat in the seventh as we head to the stretch. Alex Wilson coming on out of the pen for the Tigers. Still having a very solid year for them. 58 innings of relief this year in the ERA at 2.33. He's a pitch to contact guy uh, but... He gets the job done here. First batter he's facing is Tejada, Tejada, and he chases a slider down out of the zone for the first out. Then it's Robinson Chirinos, 95-mile-an-hour heat up and in. He couldn't catch up with it. That's the second out. And then it's Murillo. Can anybody get this guy out? Nope. He's going to draw a walk here, so a two-out base runner and one with speed. So we'll see if the Rangers can get anything going. Uh, next would be Matt Duffy. He hits a ball hard. That's going into right field for a two-out single, first and second, as Murillo is going to hold there, not test the arm in right. Tim Meza coming on in relief. He's pitched pretty well for the Tigers this year as well. 41 innings, 2.63 ERA, um, and really done a very good job against lefties when he's been out there, and he gets the job done here as he gets Calhoun swinging at a slider down and away to end the inning. That's a big out right there as two runners stranded. We go on to the top of the eighth. Rangers turning to the lefty Brett Martin out of the bullpen. You see the numbers there through 53 appearances so far. With one away, it's Lawrence Walker. He's down on three pitches, swinging at a curve as he continues to struggle at the plate for the Tigers. Then it's Sheldon Nueze, 0-2 pitch. He couldn't pull the trigger. It's a backdoor slider for strike three. Nice work there in the eighth from Martin. Then with one away in the bottom of the eighth, Calhoun hits this ball a mile. That ball is way out of here into the right field bleachers for his 16th of the year. That ball travels 422 feet as the Rangers cut the lead to three. Um, that pitch was not a good one and had just absolutely no chance. Tim Meza gives up the, uh, the homer to the lefty, which uh, we mentioned earlier, he's actually had some success against him this year, but uh, this is definitely just a no-doubter as you see the swing there. And the next batter is Rugnet Odor. 
He sucks against lefties, but he delivers a single into center field. So that would do it for Mesa. The Tigers going to turn to Jordan Hicks, who they acquired recently from the Cardinals uh, in the trade for Jordan Scope. He's pitched well this year, and he's going to try and get him out of a pickle here. As the you know the lead at three, the Rangers still in this thing for sure. He gets Cole swinging through a sinker, 97 miles an hour, first K for Hicks. Next batter is Anderson Tejeda. He's uh, twisted up in knots there on the slider down and in. That would end the inning. But Ronald Guzman, with the no-doubter into the right field bleachers, makes it 6-3 as we head to the ninth. Rangers will bring on Jose LeClerc. He's been uh, the closer at times this season, had a little bit of a rough year. 12 saves in 19 opportunities, although this is not a save situation, but he, he does get Beckham there for the second out of the inning with a high fastball. Two batters later, it's Cameron Maben with a runner on first, couldn't pull the trigger for strike three, and we go to the bottom of the ninth as it is 6-3. Texas down to their last opportunity. Arotis Vizcaino coming on in relief, looking for his 33rd save of the season. As you see the numbers there, he's pitched pretty well overall, but you know a lot of his success was early in the season as he was just lights out for a while, but he struggled a little bit down the stretch. Uh, he comes out with a strikeout on the first batter, then he just freezes Murillo. They finally get this guy out as they just uh, you know he just buries a fastball in under his hands for strike three. Then a swing and strikeout on Matt Duffy. That would do it as the Tigers take this one six to three. Jordan Belazovic getting his 12th victory of the season. The rookie having a heck of a year for the Tigers. As we will get a look at the uh, the box score here in a second. But first, player of the game honors to Sheldon Nueze. Two for four with a home run and a double. Gibson takes the loss. Four and a third. Eight hits, four walks, five earned runs. Vizcaino with a solid ninth inning of work. Picking up the save with three strikeouts in a scoreless uh, bottom half of the ninth. Look at the numbers there, 15 hits, 4 walks for the Tigers, 7 strikeouts, 3-hit uh, day for Cameron Maven, 4 hits for Victor Reyes, uh, homer for Sheldon Nueze, and then pretty good work out of the bullpen. Meza gave up the solo shot, but other than that, this, this Tigers pitching staff did a great job. Final look at the line score, the Tigers 6, Rangers 3. That's going to do it for this one as uh, we take a look now um, in a – Roster move here is we're going to send Lawrence Walker down. Now he's just really been struggling, and Kristen Stewart has been having a great season in AAA and really turned it on lately. So we're going to call him up, give him a shot at the major league level. This is a guy that we know can do it uh, if he gets some reps. But in other news, Sheldon Nueze tears a shoulder muscle. He's going to be out for the season, and that would mean some more shuffling around on the uh, on the roster and the depth chart. But we're going to head right out to PNC Park. The Pittsburgh Pirates are 53-73 and 73 on the year. The Tigers sitting at 67-59, and 59, still relevant in that American League playoff race. Uh, so we'll see if they can pick up a win today and kind of keep that hope alive. Mitch Keller, the uh, highly touted prospect right-handed starting pitcher, going to get the go for the Pirates. He is 7-10 and 10 on the year. ERA sitting at 4.77, so he is, uh, you know, he's struggling a little bit, but this is a guy that's trying to kind of figure it out at the major league level. Still very young and uh, somebody to watch out for as he kind of figures out how to pitch at this level. But the first batter he faces, Cameron Maven, takes one right up the middle. That's a slider right over the heart of the plate. And just like that, a leadoff base runner for the Tigers. Then it's Harold Castro, takes one back up the middle. That's going to get through as Mr. Singles uh, delivers here, and it is now first and second. Nobody out. Then it's Miguel Cabrera. That ball is down and in, but he golfs it into the left center field uh, gap. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Two runs are going to score. It's an RB, it's a two-run double for Cabrera, and it is already 2-0 here in the first. Still nobody out. Then it's David Bodie. He hits one off the glove of the shortstop. Would go into left field for a single. It's first and third, but this is, uh, you, we got to see this. Watch Colin Moran here. Whoop, whoop, and then, shoo! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Oh, next batter, Kristen Stewart, up the middle, into center field. Another run's going to score. It is 3 0 pirate, or Pirates trailing already in this one as Mitch Keller is getting shelled. 
He would bounce back, though, as he gets Austin Romine to swing and miss a slider down out of the zone. First strikeout for Keller. Next batter is uh, Nico Goodrum. Pops one up. That's going to be an infield fly roll for the second out. Now with two away, it's Dowell Lugo. They just pitch around him with the pitcher on deck in a National League ball game. Uh, they're going to load the bases now for Xiao Ching Chang. Gets the bat on the ball. Uh, floats one down the right field line, but they're playing in, and he's able to get to that to end the threat here in the first. But the Tigers out to a 3-0 lead already as they head to the bottom of the first. Xiao Ching Chang getting the start for the Tigers, 5-6 and six on the year, ERA at 5.42. He has struggled for them, but honestly, another young right-hander, um, you know, along with Keller, that's kind of trying to figure it out at the major league level. See how he fares in this one. Two away for Brian Reynolds. He hit the ball off the foul line and then over into um, out of play for a ground roll double. Then it's Miguel Sano. Not sure exactly who the Pirates had to give up to get him. Unusual that he would be traded to the Pirates in a year where they're as bad as they are. But he delivers an RBI single there. And then Josh Bell hits one deep to center field, but it would run out of steam at the track. That would have been big as it could have tied it up, but it's going to be 3-1 to one after 1 here at PNC Park. First batter in the second inning is uh, Cameron Maven. He hits one deep to center field on a 3-2 pitch. That was a fastball up. Brian Reynolds has to just look up and watch that go over the center field wall. It is now 4-1 to one Tigers as Cameron Maven hits his 14th of the year, 412 feet. Tell you what, he's 32 years old but having one heck of a year for the Tigers this year as his average is sitting up in the high 200s and he's doing some damage with the bat there uh, with some power as well. A couple batters later, it's David Bodie. Floats one into right center field for a two-out single. Then it was Kristen Stewart recently called up from AAA. He hits a ball off the right field wall for a two-out double. It's going to be second and third as the, as the Tigers still rallying here in the second. Pitching coach going to come out to talk to uh, Mitch Keller. He says, look, over here is the mound. This is where you're supposed to stand, and you're going to try and go ahead and throw the ball past the guys that are over there swinging those bats. You see, over that direction. Yeah, that's your job. Get it done. Next batter, Austin Romine. It's a ball deep to center field. That's going to hang up, though, for the third out. So Keller able to escape damage. He's at 58 pitches, though, just two innings of work. So... Um, Going to keep an eye on that as Cameron Maven makes it 4-1 to one as we head to the bottom of the second. Two out now. He gets Keller swinging. That would end the inning. Chang's going to throw pretty well, but we're going to kind of just jump through, see a lot of offense from the Tigers. As we skip ahead to the fifth, Robbie Erlin on now in relief for the, ti uh, for the Pirates. It's a walk there. Now a ball down the right field line. It's going to make it first and third. And the Tigers not done here as it's Dawa Lugo. He hits a ball deep to left field. This ball is way back. Colin Moran looking up, but it is gone. That makes it 7-1 Tigers. Dawa Lugo's first of the year. He was just called up from AAA because of some of the injury shuffling that the, uh, the Tigers had to deal with. And he comes up big there. His first of the year, obviously, uh, 379 feet makes it 7-1. It is now a six-run lead for the Tigers. We, uh, we're we not done yet, though. It's You know it's going bad when the pitcher is getting a hit off you. That's a two-out single for Xiao Ching Chang. First hit of his major league career. Probably not too many more of those coming as he's uh, you know playing on an American League team. Uh, so just not getting a lot of opportunities. On to the sixth. It's Miguel Cabrera leading things off. 3-2 pitch. He takes it down the right field line. That's going to be a single. And it's David Bodie. Hits one hard. It's into left field. That'll get down. Actually gets past Colin Moran. Not sure what he was trying to do there, but he's not a natural uh, left fielder, so give him a little bit of slack. Miguel Cabrera coming all the way around to score. It's an RBI triple for David Bodie. Next batter, Kristen Stewart. Chops one up the middle. Fielded cleanly, but over to first. The run would score. That makes it 9-1 to one Tigers. And then it's Austin Romine. He hits one deep to right field. This ball is way back, and it's going to go off the wall. That's going to be a one-out double for Austin Romine, so another runner in scoring position. Then Nico Goodrum hits the ball back up the middle. That gets through into center field. Romine going to come around to score. That's going to make it 10-1. to one. The Tigers just pouring it on here. Then it's Xiao Ching Chang. How about this? Two hits for the guy. 
So we just talked about him getting his first hit and maybe not getting too many more, and there he delivers a second one already. Now with two away, Cameron Maben just kind of pops one up, shallow right field. That'll get Holmes out of the inning, who was on in relief. And it's Miguel Cabrera in the seventh. He hits one deep to left field. That's going to get down, bounces off the wall. And it's going to be a RBI double for Miguel Cabrera. Makes it 11-1. to Now Kristen Stewart, first and third. He hits a ball deep to right field. Is this going to get out of here? No, off the very top of the Clemente wall out there in right field. Two runs are going to score. It is now 13-1 as the Tigers just all over the uh, the Pirates in this one. The Pirates would add one late, but uh, a 13th two shellacking as the Tigers continue playing good ball down, you know, as we head into the stretch. So they are staying alive in the American League picture. Um, we'll take a look here. Miguel Cabrera, player of the game honors. He went four for six with three doubles and three driven in. Xiao Ching Chang, six innings of strong work, seven hits, one walk, struck out eight, just one earned. Uh, as, Meller, as Mitch Keller picks up the loss, a lot of hits there for the Tigers. 24 collective hits. You just see, you know, twos and threes and fours in the hit column all over the place. Five walks against just four strikeouts. Everybody got into the action here. Uh, Lugo with a home run. Maven with a home run. Uh, Nova gets a hold, the most worthless stat in all of baseball, but uh, an overall just beat down. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, comment below, and we will see you all next time.